Welcome to this Flash Computer Guide tutorial. In this, I'll be showing you how to make a simple point and click game. Um, your point and click game is kind of like, say, John Bro's Riddle School. If you haven't played that, I suggest you do so you get the gist of what a point and click game is. But I'll be showing you how to make a simple one right now. So to get started, you make a new Action Script 3.0 document, not 2.0, 3.0, and make sure your file size is 1280 by 720. And if it appears all like this, like huge, and you can't see anything, yeah, just go up here and click Fit in Window, and then the whole thing will be available to you here. So first, you're gonna wanna uh, make some sort of title screen. So it's pretty simple, just get your rectangle tool here, you might want to turn the uh, stroke off by clicking on this and then clicking on the alpha button, and then um, choose a colour down here, I'm just for now going to use this one, and you just uh, drag it over your um, screen, you don't have to be like really precise or anything, it's just like a general background. Then you can make your title header. I'm not going to do a tutorial on this since, well, this isn't this isn't the point of the uh, tutorial. I'm just getting you through the point and click game sort of thing. So I don't know point point and click click adventure something like that. Okay. Okay. So there we go we have our little title thingy of Bob and now we want like a start button or something like that so just place like a, a start button like here like so and now what you want to do is uh sorry static thing is click on your start button and press F8 and this brings up the convert to symbol window uh, you want to change it to a button so when we click on it it brings up the adventure thing uh, for now call it start button btn or whatever click ok and do the same with the instance name what an instance name does in case you don't know is it uh, so when you're um, doing all your scripting and stuff the instant name kind of declares what that object is so we're doing like the start button so just press OK. And now we're just gonna pay, make like a I don't know. We're just gonna do like a little placeholder for now. Let's put a smiley face in. There we go. Um so first what you wanna do is click on this frame, the first frame, which is your menu screen, press F9, give it a second, to bring up the actions panel you can shrink it or whatever it's up to you so I'm just gonna drag it over here so here's where um, here's where our instance name and stuff comes in so remember the instance name of our start button which was literally start button so we're going to type in its instance name go start button dot add event listener and what an event listener does is it basically well it listens for an event like this is a mouse event and we want the user to click on it and so that declares that we put the comma here and then we define our function name we haven't made our function yet but we're going to make our function and so we're going to do start game and then one of these it has to finish with that otherwise it won't work press enter a few times and then go function start game so that's that here and mouse no event mouse event and void so it doesn't return anything press enter uh, if you're using CS5 then it's gonna auto do this for you like all the tabbing and all that if you don't well it's pretty simple to do it manually but um, anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple next next frame like that. Okay. So 
Yeah. Once you've done that, uh, you press Control Enter, and it will export your Flash movie. Oh, something, something's going wrong. There we are. Stop. You need to put the stop on both of them. You see, we forgot to put the stop function down. That's very important. If you don't put the stop function down, then that happens. It will just keep flicking between the frames. Right now, if you press Control Enter, if you click the Start button, the smiley face appears. I'll do more on like customization of the button and stuff soon, but that's not our topic, like I said. So go onto your second frame, and you probably want to delete everything. So now we're going to start constructing our room. Uh, I'll skip the process of making the room because again, it's not really like part of the tutorial. We'll do another tutorial on that, like Photoshop or whatever. So I'm just going to quickly skip the video, and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, um, this is nothing much. It's just like this thing I made in about five minutes. But anyway, so we have a box and a door. That's about it. And what we want to do is we want to get it to when you open this box. You take out the key from inside this box and you can use it to open the door. So what's going to happen is, is that we want to highlight our box like this. Uh, don't worry, you'll be able to download the project files in the description. So if you don't want to draw your own rooms and the box and everything, you can just uh, do what I do, like literally. Press uh, F8 like normal to convert it to a symbol. And uh, make it a movie clip. And now what we want to do is we want to name this box. Simple as that. And we want to do the same for the door. So we just uh, highlight the door. It's going to be a bit harder. There we go. Highlight the door. F8 again. Door. This one will be our button. Okay. Uh, so yeah of course we're going to change the instance name to door and change the instance name to box here's where um, we're, we're just going to go inside our box and now we're going to go through the individual frame uh, animation of when you open the box so that's going to take quite a while so again I may as well skip the video so I'll be back with you in a second Remember you can download the project files so you're not missing out on anything. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the animation. It's not that good, I only created it just like a second ago, but I'll show it to you anyway. All that happens is that, and the box is open. So, um, yeah, you probably want to download the project file so then you can follow along like perfectly or whatever. So I'll just pause the video for a second, okay? Now go into your box, and once you're inside your box, go to the first frame, hit F9, and put a stop function. Uh, obviously, because otherwise it's just going to automatically open without you even clicking on it. So what's going to happen is, um, you want to put one on the end as well, like a stop function. Here's where uh, we're going to add the advert, advert yeah, yeah, sorry event listeners so you, you you're kind of familiar with them already since i showed you them in like a previous few clips so yep just open it up again press enter a few times and then you want to do add event listener dot uh add event listener mouse event dot click and uh, we're going to call this one open the box go on to your function again open the box vent uh, mouse event uh, void here's where you're going to want to put like a, a play function play function uh, so then, once once you've clicked the box, it will you know it will, it will play the the uh, clip until it gets to this point where we've added another function here. Oh, and another thing is you want to go here. 
under that, you're gonna uh, wanna put remove uh, event listener. Um, the reason why we're doing a remove event listener is because if we keep it on, then if we click the uh, box at the end when we want to look inside the box or whatever, it's just going to play the whole thing again and it's just going to go around in an endless loop, which we don't want. So, mouse event dot click, open the box, and now it prevents you from clicking it and making it play through the whole thing again. Again, on the last one, we're going to go to another add event listener. And hold on. So we just want to create a quick frame here. So in this new frame, we're just going to delete everything. And we're going to get our line tool, make it about five. And just make it like an inside of a box. So. Um, Kinda like the room we already had, but not the room. So just do a few. Line tool is very good. It's it's kind of stops you from making those stupid mistakes which you sometimes make when uh, using the brush tool. So you just have to conjoin all the edges, otherwise you won't be able to fill anything. Make sure you fill it. It's like a dark brown because you're like inside the box uh, but make make the inside one bright because that's where the light is going from just quickly okay we're just going to add a stop function here again and we're going to go back onto this frame here F9 add event listener and again we're just going to do a mouse event dot click uh, see inside the box simple as that again function see inside the box uh, event mouse event void and we're just going, going to do a simple next frame there we go so now on your frame here what we're going to do is we're going to make the key you might want to do this on a new layer just to prevent it from intersecting with the box because sometimes if you draw something here and then you want to delete it it kind of makes like a little cutout shape here which we don't want so we're just going to do that and we're just going to draw like a key like a really basic key uh, so uh say so should do that lock that out do that and then we just make it come along down it's really simple there we go a hole in the middle fill it like a gold yellow and select it Make it a movie clip and just call it a uh, key for door. There we go. Drag it wherever you want, just put it in the middle of the box. Again, key for door. So, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little back button so you can get out of the box. So, uh, hold on. So you want to just go make a simple back button, I'm just going to do like a, that, highlight it, F8, make sure, uh, that could be a button, make sure it go back to original, I don't know, let's put that, go back to original, in all, go back to original, like that. So that's that so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more scripting. So in here we're just going to do simple. Um, uh, sorry, um, this is where we're going to do our booleans. Boolean is like 
saying if something is true or false like saying if you this is for the door so we're going to say at the beginning the boolean is false but when you take the key it's true meaning that you can open the door so what's going to happen is is that on on over here we're going to make a new layer and on our new layer we're going to put a uh, var can no sorry uh scene one global action script so we're going to create a new layer f9 var uh can you open door uh equals boolean false there we go e sorry space equals equals boolean equals false we're going to be getting more into this uh, in the next tutorial but I'm kind of running over time here so I hope that helps you out if it didn't please tell me I know I'm a bit like unsure in some places but that's just me i'm afraid but if you like the tutorial uh then good i hope you watch some more of them when they come out please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching